Hello everyone and welcome back once again. This is part 3 of my perfect Fallout 4 playthrough. In this video I'm going to try to do something I've never done before, and that is acquire all of the level 4 merchants for my settlement without using any console commands. To understand why this is so frustrating and easy to miss, we should first look at how the level 4 merchants work. Normally, when you build stores in your settlement, there are three tiers, each with better inventories and higher caps. Level 4 merchants are special named NPCs that can be recruited and sent to your settlement to work at a level 3 store, except they have special expanded inventories and even more caps to trade with. This is why they are called level 4 merchants. There are a total of 8 level 4 merchants that you can recruit. The vault Tech rep, Tina DeLuca, and trader Rai Lee are all general traders, so we only need to get one for now. Anne Hargraves is the level 4 clothing vendor. She becomes available to recruit after completing the Trinity Tower quest to save Rex Goodman and Strong. She is always found in the same location, so it is very hard to mess up recruiting her. The remaining four are Doc Anderson, the level 4 clinic merchant, Ron Staples, the level 4 bartender, The Scribe, the level 4 armor merchant, and Smiling Larry, the level 4 weapon merchant. In order to recruit any of the level 4 merchants, you must have a level 3 store of their specialization built, for example, the level 3 clinic for Doc Anderson. You also need to meet their population requirement. The population requirement is met by having a population above their threshold within a supply line connection. Currently, I have 20 settlers within the connected supply line of Sanctuary and Red Rocket. The highest requirement is 30 for Smiling Larry, so I'll need to increase my population before going after him. Doc Anderson, Ron Staples, The Scribe, and Smiling Larry are all found only as random encounters. To understand why this makes their recruitment so problematic, we need to understand random encounters better. Random encounters occur in fixed locations across the Commonwealth. I've only memorized a few, and these should be the only ones I need to recruit all four of these merchants. There are different spawns depending on the location. For example, just outside of Concord, there's a parking lot with a campfire. This is known as a campsite encounter location. There are nine different campsite encounter events which can spawn at this location, two of which are the merchants Doc Anderson and Ron Staples, so the odds aren't that bad. Now if you're curious like me, you might be wondering where are these NPCs when they haven't randomly spawned yet? Do they exist? The answer is somewhat surprisingly yes. For the sake of education, I'm going to use the console to show you where they exist because it's pretty amazing. If you've played with a console and the level 4 merchants before, you probably know what's coming. I'll use TGM to activate God Mode, and then I'll teleport myself to Doc Anderson's location. And look where I end up. This amazing room is basically the set of the Jerry Springer Show. All of the hostile and non-hostile NPCs just chill in here waiting to be summoned to random encounters, and they start brawling as soon as you spawn into the room. We can see Doc Anderson, Ron Staples, The Scribe, and Smiling Larry just hanging out with a bunch of other weirdos. When you encounter one of these NPCs randomly at a spawn, they are pulled from this room and placed at the random encounter point with their event script ready. After the event script finishes, they will stay at the random encounter point until you do something to trigger a new random encounter. Usually, new random encounters can be triggered simply by fast traveling away and walking back, However, campsite encounters seem to require you to trigger a separate campsite encounter to reset the previous one. So what happens after you've triggered an NPC at their random spawn and then triggered a new spawn? Does the NPC go back to the waiting room? Not from what I've seen. They just kind of disappear. If you try to teleport to the NPC with a console, you're sent to where they spawned, but they aren't there. Either a new encounter is there or there's just nothing. You can use the console command to enable the NPC and then they appear again, meaning the game disables the NPC after the random event is finished. So why is this such a massive problem to our goal of recruiting all four merchants? Well, if the NPC ever randomly spawned at any location, it was pulled from the waiting room, used, and likely despawned as you traveled around. If any of those NPCs were merchants, they are likely gone forever. 
You may not have even seen them as you could have moved into the range of spawning NPCs and not even known it. In fact, the front door of the Museum of Freedom and Concord is close enough to the campsite encounter in the parking lot that it will trigger the event to load even without you knowing it. Every time you went to Concord, went inside of the building, left the building, or did anything else in that area, you had a chance to break Doc Anderson or Ron Staples forever. The other problem is that the requirements for recruiting are so high, needing up to 30 settlers and level 3 stores, which require a lot of caps and at least level 20 to meet the requirements. It is likely that you spent a lot of time wandering around before you can even meet these requirements. You may have encountered one of these merchants, but your settlements didn't meet the requirements so you couldn't recruit them and then they just disappear forever. This leads me to retroactively explain what I did in part 1 and what I did in part 2. In part 1, I leveled myself to 16 using a cheesy shelf building method without ever leaving Sanctuary. In part 2, I built up Sanctuary and Red Rocket, only leaving once to interact with Trashcan Carla so I would have access to a vendor. This allowed me to build up until I could meet the requirements of recruiting level 4 merchants while minimizing the risk of breaking their spawns. So now here I am at level 20, with 20 settlers between Sanctuary and Red Rocket, all 6 level 3 stores, and only having left the bubble once, and I'm finally ready to recruit the level 4 merchants. I don't have the 30 settlers required for Smiling Larry, but that's okay because we will not go anywhere that could break his spawn. The first two targets are the campsite spawns Doc Anderson and Ron Staples. I headed out of Red Rocket to the south and moved along the west side of Concord. I made a quick save here at this stop sign, which is definitely outside of the spawn range, and moved between these buildings to the campsite spawn. If anyone other than Doc Anderson or Ron Staples appeared, I reloaded. Sometimes you'll see the same encounter again and again. If this happens, close your game to the main menu and reload. When you reload, it should re-randomize the events. You might see Doc Anderson or Ron Staples first. In my case, I saw Doc Anderson. As soon as I spotted her without even talking to her, I made another hard save. It's important to be thorough with your hard saves, I'm not going to keep explaining this, but just hard save whenever you think it could possibly help you in the future. If something breaks, it's nice to have a lot of backups to choose from to save time. I talked to Doc Anderson and I asked her to join my settlement. She agreed, but she doesn't really start moving. In fact, she won't move until we despawn her event. So let's head over to the cabin near Drumlin Diner and initiate a new campsite event. After the new event, I fast traveled back to Red Rocket and walked back to Concord Campsite, making a new quick save and targeting Ron Staples. Eventually I got him, I invited him back to my settlement, I headed over to the cabin to despawn him, and then I went back to Red Rocket and back to Concord Campsite to make sure that he wasn't there anymore. It may seem excessive, but it's good to be thorough. I headed back to Sanctuary and waited a day, and luckily Doc Anderson and Ron Staples successfully made it. I assigned them to their stores, and now it was time to go after the Scribe and Smiling Larry. But first, I needed to get my settlement count to 30. Now that I didn't care about campsite encounters anymore, I headed to the Museum of Freedom and finally helped Preston and the gang. Once they arrived in Sanctuary, that gave us 5 more settlers, putting us closer to 30. It didn't take long for the new settlers to come and bring my total to 30, however if you have any issues, you are now safe to use Starlight Drive-In to recruit new settlers. With the 30 settlers required, I headed south again to Grey Garden. From Grey Garden, the path towards Cambridge Police Station can be used as a guide to the next destination. Walking close to this billboard on the ground triggers a fluid encounter. Fluid encounters are special walking encounters. Smiling Larry and the Scribe are both on the fluid encounter spawn table. Quick save here and head down until you see what spawned. Repeat this until you find either Smiling Larry or the Scribe. Again, if you're having the same few encounters again and again, try closing to the main menu and reloading. After a bit, I found the scribe. Once he was recruited, a quick fast travel back to Grey Garden allowed me to reset the random encounter. And it was time to aim for Smiling Larry. Pretty soon, Smiling Larry appeared and I recruited him. 
One more fast travel to Great Garden and a run back ensured that Smiling Larry had despawned so I was ready to check my settlement. After sleeping, the scribe and Smiling Larry were in sanctuary. I assigned them to their appropriate stores and finally I had acquired the four random encounter merchants without using the console. I feel like this method is reliable and replicatable so I'm happy to share it with you. For my general goods merchant, I had my choice of the three, but I decided to try Trader Riley, who I had never acquired before as well. It's pretty far across the map to get to her at Long Neck Lukowski's cannery, but she was easy enough to acquire and she has an amazing inventory of junk shipments. For clothing, Anne Hargraves can be recruited by completing the Trinity Tower quest. Arriving downtown gives access to the Trinity Tower radio broadcast, which activates the quest. The super mutants are a bit rough, but the quest is pretty quick. After that, I visited WRVR broadcast station and pulled Anne away from her boring life of acting to the fantastic world of retail clothing. And finally, my level four merchants collection was complete. I'll probably still get the remaining two general trade merchants, but it's certainly not urgent. However, if you're curious, the vault Tech rep is found in the hotel in Good Neighbor and Tina DeLuca is found in Vault 81. To take things up a notch, I built a second level three shop of each type as each level three merchant and level four merchant has separate inventories, meaning I can sell my waters to 12 different merchants and earn caps even faster. And that is the perfect merchant setup for the perfect Fallout 4 playthrough. Be sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for part four. And remember to survive in the wasteland. You gotta be efficient.